it's nice to see all of you here in the Tsits podcast, which means other podcast. And today we have a special guest. So our uh, interviews are not only with people from this world. Uh, we have people from other planets joining us. One of our favorite entries in this year's Eurovision. Uh, they're a band of wolves with an astronaut in it. Uh, they speak in a different language, so they will be represented by their translator today. And of course, it's the one and only, the Norwegian national entry from outer space, Subwoofer! Pew, pew, pew! Hello! <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, guys, how are you in the background? You're connected through intergal intergalactic telephone? Yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, uh, let's start with something very simple. So. How are you guys today? Oh, we're, we're so honored to be here with you guys. This is so cool. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So, uh, I have a specific question just to get us going. What's the last big thing that you're proud of and you want to share? And what is the next big thing that you're preparing for now? Well, uh, silly us, we thought like um, the Eurovision thingy was uh, just in Italy. So we, we actually went to Italy first, but then we go, went back to Norway. And uh, and I was, I'm totally out of my depth now. Um, signals are very bad. Okay, I got it. Of course, it was so cool to win MGP in Norway. And the, 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 the question on the, the answer on the other question is pretty obvious too. Of course, we're looking forward to Eurovision in Turin. Perfect, perfect. Have you already bought a space shuttle to get down to Turin for the contest? Yes, we are of course taking our own spaceship and uh, hopefully we can uh, perform on the stage with our, our spaceship. But... Uh, they have some really. Um, it's hard doors to find a parking space. Very narrow, parking so it's going to be difficult. Really... <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, and uh, so you might have heard that the on planet Earth at the moment there are some uh, difficulties going around, both for the last couple of years and very recently. So we wanted to ask you, uh, probably you're following whatever is going on, and uh, what makes you happy in these difficult times that we're facing now. Well, first of all, we'd like to say that this is really crazy. We really prefer that people are kind to each other. We usually are that on the moon, and uh, you people on Earth should be nice to each other, too. Yeah, so let's uh, learn from but, people um, on the moon. Let's learn from you guys. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're, we're just trying to, um, like... Um, it's, it's very difficult to interfere with anything there, but uh, we are trying our best to do uh, to spread uh, across a message of uh, peace and uh, rehearse a lot before we enter the European stage. Perfect. I think that you have a, you have a thing that you can do that uh, most probably nobody else can, which is uh, take your space shuttle and drop a bunch of bananas everywhere where there's conflict. Bananas make people happy, and uh, that's what you're singing about, right? So that, that's maybe maybe an idea. Maybe an idea. Good. Uh, we'll definitely good. take that into uh, consideration. <laughs> good. Okay, let's go into the next segment, which is rapid questions. Pew, 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 pew. I will ask you uh, a bunch of very quick questions. Uh, they're either yes or no, or two options, or uh, whatever else. You have to respond as quickly as possible to them. Uh, so keep your answers very short. And uh, there's a bunch of them. So let's go and see how you respond to them. So the first one, Earth or outer space? We preferred outer space for a while, but we really like it here on Earth at the moment. Good. Okay, the second one. Have you ever seen Sam Ryder in space? We probably think we saw him because, you know, everything is going so fast in space and someone made like this sound. Ah! And passed, <laughs> um, like he passed our spaceship. We think it was him. Okay, perfect. Uh, so you have to pick one. Veggies or pussy? We really like both. Veggies are so nice to eat and the kittens are so cute. 
Exactly. Like, you people on Earth have like these channels with all these cute cats. So, you know, Jim was watching that for hours. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, we'll get him a video. We'll, we'll add a video below this video that where you can see a lot of cats so that Jim could, would have uh, an option to l have a look at more cats. Uh, steak or veggies? Well, we're trying to get the message across that uh, like the wolves should eat more bananas. So, of course, it's uh, veggies. Perfect. That's the right answer. So, being green, is it green, is it cool or is it hot? Well, it could be both. It could be really hot to be uh, green, but it could also be cool to be green, you know? <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, this is a very, very important question. If you win this year's Eurovision, where will you host the next year's Eurovision? Will it be on Earth in Norway or in outer space? Well, of course, we have a room for everybody on the moon and we have an insane big stadium that could fit like almost the whole of Europe. But, uh, well, the, it's going to be a logistically nightmare. So uh, we decide to trust Earthling Stig, which is like um, the MGP boss in uh, Norway, to decide that. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I think that we can ask Elon Musk, maybe he can help us to bring everybody up to the moon for next year's Eurovision. That would be pretty epic. That would be pretty epic. Okay. Uh, if you could be any superhero, so I hope you're familiar with the uh, superheroes here on Earth because you are talking wolves. <laughs> uh, if you could be any superhero, which one would you be? Well, uh, I get some mixed uh, messages here, but I think Jim wants to be Keith and Keith wants to be Jim. <laughs> I don't, uh, well, it's an answer. <laughs> Good. Do you like humans? Should be we, should be we scared? Oh, absolutely. Humans are so nice. We've been trying to blend in for uh, for a few weeks now and uh, we really start to get hold of it. And the uh, humans are so nice and kind. <laughs> Good. Uh, what is your go-to joke? Do you have a go-to joke? And can you tell it very quickly? Well, uh, the problem is the go-to joke is uh, inaudible for you guys. You can't hear it. Okay, can, can, we, so, can we hear it? Can, um, yeah, you're a translator. Can, can we hear it in the, in the subwoofer language then? Oh, it's inaudible. You can't hear it because it consists of frequencies you haven't even heard on Earth. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, and the last rapid question. Would you want to be able to speak human yourselves? Yes, absolutely. Uh, trying our best to uh, like understand everything now and hopefully uh, so we'll, we will be able to speak by themselves at some point. Perfect. Let, let's hope they manage to get it right until May so that they, in turn they can give interviews. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, uh, this, these were the rapid questions. Now let's go back to the more in-depth discussion. And uh, I wanted to ask you, and uh, this is specifically a question to you as the translator as well. Uh, how exactly do you communicate if uh, the subwoofer speaks in frequencies that are not being able to be picked up by the human ear? How do you communicate? Is it through mind control? They are, are sending these signals through, through the air, like that hits me, and then I can like slightly get a grip on what they're trying to communicate and do my best to put that into earthly words. Okay, so that's more of a like uh, a feeling. You're translating through a feeling because you don't get exact words. You get uh, you get a thought in your head. You know, it's, sometimes so uh, language is translated different and then get the first part of the other set <laughs> sentence and the other sentence. So like, like it's very mixed sometimes. So it's, it's a little confusing, uh, but uh, I do my best. Okay, you're doing a great job. This, this is really cool. Uh, okay. Uh, then maybe a question to you specifically as a translator. Have you ever uh, messed up uh, some of the thoughts that, uh, that the band has given you? Have, have you ever said something completely inappropriate or what they didn't want to say because uh, you just didn't understand it immediately? Because I guess it takes, it get, takes some getting used to, to to communicate with the yellow wolves from outer space. 
yeah, sometimes uh, it gets uh, mixed uh, for sure. Uh, and um, you know, there are so many things and so many questions and like new things that the guys have to uh, kind of understand. So uh, in between that uh, duration, it's um, it can be some misunderstanding. And uh, I think I've said a couple of things that weren't right, but um, well, I do my best and they try the best too. Good. Send me these messages. <laughs> Good. So I, I hope that they will start beaming me at some point as well. I'd, I'd like to speak with them directly, but I guess I just don't have the skill set yet. But I'll, I'll work my best to learn their language as well. Uh, okay. How did you find? How did you find out about uh, bananas? And what is the thing that pulls you towards this specific fruit? Why not mangoes? Why not give the gr grandma well, some lettuce or some salad or uh, or a cucumber or a pickle? or a tomato, or a, I don't know, a pumpkin. Why, why specifically a banana? Oh yeah, everybody knows that bananas is their favorite fruit. Uh, that's a starter. Uh, but um, we, we found out about this because, uh, uh, you know, we've been living on the moon for uh, quite a while. And Neil Armstrong landed on the moon uh, back in the 60s. Uh, and he told us this, uh, I think you guys call it fairy tale, but uh, I think that, believe, that means true story. Uh, about grandmas constantly being eaten up by wolves. So by writing a song about, like, why not just give the wolf a banana? Then we can save all the grandmas. So people don't have to be concerned about that anymore. Perfect, perfect. That, I, I think that that's, that's a great way of looking at it. And uh, I really like to visualize the, the moment when Neil Armstrong lands on the moon and he goes like, small step, for mankind, giant, no, st small step for man, giant leap for mankind. And then uh, two yellow wolves show up and he's like, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's speak with you guys. How, do you how did you select Norway to be the place uh, that you would like to represent? Because apparently if you're from the moon, you could have selected any other country. Uh, why specifically Norway? Because ultimately I, I think Latvians would have enjoyed uh, moon wolves as well. So what what pulls Subwoofer towards Norway? Well, uh, you know, we've been monitoring the Earth for quite a while now because we want, really wanted to go here. Um, and, uh, you know, as you could see in our music video, we actually crash landed in uh, Russia and we for sure didn't want to be there. So we <laughs> took off and uh, we landed in Norway. <laughs> and uh, that, that's also where they found me. And uh, we were thinking that, okay, so Eurovision, they let Australia uh, be included. So why not include the moon? That's also pretty far away. That's, 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 that's a great plan. Okay, uh, now let's have a little bit of a break from, from questions, even though these are entertaining enough <laughs> out of themselves. Uh, let's go for a fun game. So uh, I want to know, what does the subwoofer salad look like? So we will play a little game. I will share to you on screen. Uh, multiple choices, which you have to pick out one of. Uh, and the game is called Make Your Salad! Pew, 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 pew. Okay, let's go. So two choices, you have to pick one, and then out of all the ingredients you pick, that's the salad that uh, we will call the subwoofer salad. Okay, the moon salad, maybe. I know that in Young Children there was one right. pie, so this will be the moon salad. Tomato or cucumber? Ah, cucum cucumber, of course, because it reminds of a banana. Ah, oh, perfect. Eggplant or paprika? Ah, eggplant, because it reminds of a banana. Beet or ginger? None of these remind of a banana. <laughs> ginger, of course, because it's, uh, it's tints to yellow. <laughs> Cabbage or lettuce? Ah, uh, this is a difficult one. Um, I think we go for lettuce, but we will prefer if you could add some uh, banana or uh, pineapple, you know, pineapple. Okay, we'll, we'll add bananas instead of this one. We'll add bananas instead of this one. Good. Cauliflower or broccoli? Oh, um, I think the answer to this is mango, but... Uh, you will have a chance to pick mango as I well? I think we can... Uh, maybe we can color the cauliflower to be yellow. Okay, so yellow cauliflower. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Uh, then av avocado or mango? Ooh, here are the mangoes. Great. Good. Mango. Onions or garlic? Oh, they're both great, I think. But um, 
Yeah, we would suggest to add some uh, orange instead, but... Um... Okay, so you will have a fruit salad. Fruit salad. So we will have... Yeah, I think so. Instead of the lettuce or cabbage, we will add bananas. Instead of the onions and garlic, we will add uh, oranges. Orange. orange. Okay, perfect. One orange. Or just the color orange. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no Perfect. Okay, so bam, pff, movie magic. This is the subwoofer salad from the moon. If you want to taste it or make it, make it. Send us a picture or a pin in the comments. How do you think that this would taste? Uh, and let's get back to the interview. Let me stop the share. Okay, great. Yeah, they also say they also like some yellow apple and lemon as well. Uh, okay, okay. Yellow apple and lemon. <laughs> yellow apple. <laughs> I actually think that this would be pretty tasty. A fruit salad is always healthy and nice. Okay, let's go for the longer questions. Uh, and these are kind of... You have a free format to explain more. If you'd like to, you can respond in one phrase or you can just say banana. So this is completely free form. Uh, how are you preparing for the Eurovision Song Contest? And uh, isn't the fact that on the moon there is no gravity kind of uh, making it a little bit more complex for you guys? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're not used to like the earthly gravity. You know, Jim was depressed for weeks when he realized he couldn't jump as high as he used to. He was depressed. But, That's, uh, a know, it, That's a great pun. That's a great pun. Well, it's 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 true. You know, <laughs> and uh, we're, we're like doing our best uh, to like prepare for everything, and uh, you know, sharpen the teeth. Uh, we're fixing the ears, you know, you have so many good uh, skincare products, you know, to get like the yellow big ears uh, r just right. And they still need to stay flexible, you know, it's uh, very important to do that. And also, uh, we'll, we just like to communicate with uh, Earthlings and uh, do some interviews. And uh, you guys are really into this uh, social media platforms. And it's so fun to communicate with everybody. So we're like, that's uh, what we're doing. Perfect. Maybe, maybe, maybe if you're feeling lonely someday, we can arrange a one-on-one -on -one, uh, one Zoom meeting with the band and just sit there because we can't really communicate without you. But just, just arrange a live Instagram video, for example, where we just sit there and uh, and look at each other. And look at each other. <laughs> yeah, you could possibly do that. <laughs> <laughs> and they can send some signals through. Maybe we will get it. You know. Catch it. Uh, I think that actually the drummer of ours, uh, he loves the song. Uh, give that wolf a banana. And uh, we were talking about it, about it yesterday, that if we could arrange some sort of a radio frequency transmitter that could interpret uh, their language, because I guess electronically it could be possible to do it, I think that that would be a great idea. But it <laughs> Okay, awesome. So, uh, what are you eating besides bananas? Oh, we're, we're eating all kinds of yellow things. You know, uh, we, we talked about a lot of yellow things just now, but we can add the uh, corn and apricot and, uh, you know, yellow dragon fruit, golden kiwi. So many great uh, yellow things. Okay, so, but I, I understand that you're primarily vegetarians there then. Yes. Okay, well, that's great. That's where we have a, that's where we have a, a thing in common. So, and you've seen Earth from the side and uh, maybe let me deviate a little bit. What do you think that, we as people on Earth could do uh, to make our planet even better? What's what's the thing that we could do to make it more sustainable or green? Uh, because probably from outer space it's also visible that there are some things that we could improve on. Uh, there are some things that are shrinking, like ice caps, and, and, and some, some places are getting warmer, some places are getting colder. So what do you think we should do? Because you, you can see us from the side. You are an objective opinion. Yes. Well, uh, we were looking at Earth and uh, we s it looked like you guys were building a new continent. And we think, oh, that's exciting. It's uh, even more people and more places we can perform. But then we realized that it was like a huge pile of trash in the middle of the ocean. And uh, that you wow. shouldn't do that to your ocean. I think that that's, that's a great... Is, is, are there any other uh, pieces of advice that you see from outer space? Because we don't see you. I, I only see this room, right? I don't have the perspective from the moon towards the Earth. Earth. Uh, I didn't hear what you said uh, just now. Can you repeat that, please? Okay. Uh, do you have any other pieces of advice that you could give? Because we can only see, uh, we see it in a flat plane, meaning that we don't even see that the Earth is round and you can see everything. So you saw from outer space that there are garbage patches that we shouldn't do, right? Because 
we should build a new continent, but not, not from garbage. And uh, maybe any other pieces of advice that you see that we could pay attention to? Yeah, we have this saying, uh, we wolf you. It kind of means uh, that we encourage you to uh, be kind to each other and we encourage you to uh, love each other. And uh, so that's kind of a message. Um, uh, we have another saying also, make wolf, not war. Uh, which also means uh, that you should take care of each other. And that's very important in uh, in these times. And uh, also, um, yeah, you have to take care of your earth because you only have one. Perfect. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Savul, for, for joining us today. Uh, you can now get back to whatever you're doing on Mars <laughs> for today. Thank you, translator. Oh, there, thank, you, uh, thank you for taking the time. It's a turn at the moment. Ah, okay, okay, perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay, so this was another podcast that we're doing here uh, uh, for, for our YouTube channel, and uh, you can check the previous episode here. And uh, thank you again, Subwoofer, for joining us, and uh, I can't wait to see you in either the pre-parties or uh, in Turin, in the worst case, or in that uh, mischievous Instagram call where we could uh, just look at each other. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> Love okay, let's perfect. do that. That sounds okay. uh, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> In the best way possible. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, that's it. It's a wrap. Great. Right.